What's up, positive people? You got Dana here, and I wanted to come to you guys with a different video, something else. Yeah, this was supposed to be, I'm thinking, like a stocking stuffer gift for somebody, but I thought it would be a great craft for us to do on the channel. We can sit and talk, see how decent of an artist I am, all that fun stuff, and we'll see if we can turn her into something. Hmm. Yeah. It's basically a paint your own masterpiece set and it comes with all this paint and this scale canvas and I'm actually going to try and put the focus somewhere in between us because I'm dark, she's white as hell so we're getting some weird contrast but we over here on a budget alright, y'all gonna deal. The set itself comes with this little artist guide here they give you like some tips, tricks, Step one is to make a transparent glaze. I went ahead and already did that, which is mixing titanium white and water. And if you don't believe me, you can even still still see some of the little remnant drops here. Now she's got a greenish brown dress on, reddish brown hair, and all of tan skin. It might turn out bad, but that's why you're here. It says to start from top down, back the background first. This kind of greenish blue background so we'll start with that you know I figured the fun would be watching me slowly become a hot mess over the course of this video especially considering the fact that I'm not wearing a smock I have limited amounts of stuff to protect my hands and clothes with I figured just wear PJs that's what I'm in my PJs doing this hmm. I need something to mix with I did not think this video through I'm just gonna use the end of a makeup brush to mix those two this up, I guess I'll mix more yellow to it and I'll get the teal that I want. This is getting messy already. I didn't think this through. Just trying to make a dark thing in here. Okay. All right, so I've got my first color mixed, which is going to be this kind of green <laughs> because the sky in this picture isn't like just. A regular blue it's kind of more like a well, let me let me test it on on the side here oh that's green green you might need that for like the trees and stuff so they said stop from the top down so I think what I'll do is <laughs> this is gonna be so bad I think I'm gonna oh honey no oh we're, we're doing it we're just we're just gonna go for it okay let's see here I think I think I made it too watery so I'm gonna go back and add some and I have a cold so I apologize for like sniff sniffling and stuff like that yeah so I just added some more yellow there because I didn't want it to get too too dark but I did want to kind of oh snap oh lord it tried to bleed and then I'm using this picture as a reference but I've got it like in front of me so I can take a look at it it's really hard to tell once you've got some of the spaces painted where certain things stop and begin. So I'm going to do a couple little guideline things. <laughs> okay, so then there's some other little trees behind Mama. Right up in this area. I'm going to probably... using my little reference <laughs> my little reference picture I should have started with something s simple like a like a Pollock painting or something this is, this is the first thing I saw raw showing right that's why there's plenty of these left that's why I like go back and make sure that like these areas where there's pooling paint don't bleed into other areas so you're constantly blending things Okay, that was a mistake. I gotta check this part too. For now, I think. <laughs> now I'm like, maybe I should make the sky blue? Hmm. I don't know. I think I want to go back now and add some dark green to this vegetation that we're creating. Hold on. Actually, let me let me see. I see her this way. Sorry about that. So y'all can see what I'm doing. We're just gonna add some dimension. 
real Leonardo da Vinci style, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Now I need to go back into the sky. A light green and a yellow, I think. To try and make this like not blue sky. Like it's a um, the sky looks green to me. I could be like messed up and colorblind in that, but I'm not seeing blue. I'm seeing like a very light green. Maybe it was um maybe it was blue once pun time, but age caught up with Miss Lisa washed off that green paint and now we're gonna mix this new yellow and green to get our light colored sky in theory if I need to add some titanium white I might and for the record my hands are getting dirty okay I'm just keeping the mess pretty contained <laughs> oh now it's too damn blue see what have I done Guess we're going with it. Maybe we'll be able to blend it out later. So yeah, I'm just gonna save my canvas real quick. <laughs> yeah, what I th let me tell you, Mona ain't looked better. Okay, so again, She's not perfect, but, you know, the sky is blue, you know. It could be worse. The, the sky could be, uh, you know, burgundy or some dumb shit, so. At least the sky's not this neon green I was doing earlier. <laughs> right, this is where we're at with Mona right now. Just going back in, filling up the crevices. Before we actually start painting her, I really do want to get this background sewn up. Blending certain things out so that they dry a bit more efficiently. And let the colors meld. We've been painting for about a half hour. I'm gonna let Miss Lisa dry and then we will reconvene in the meantime and in between time. I gotta go clean up the mess, get myself a couple more mixing utensils and all that, get this paint off my hands out. So yeah, we will reconvene. Okay, after a brief intermission, I'm back. And we're gonna start working on her hair. See, so I'm currently working on like this red orangey color that we're gonna use for her hair. Add a little brown to my red orange mix while i was letting this dry you see what happened here fun so yeah let's start working on her hair oh lord like where's her part but I'm just going around trying to frame her face with this. So now I'm just going to start filling, filling her in. We got the part just right. And then we're just going back through. She has like this little kind of tendril here in the front kind of see how I'm gonna do that okay so on this side she's got what looks to be like a little trying my hardest to give her some nice little Marcel waves I'm genuinely trying y'all she also has a veil but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to replicate the veil because when I tell you you're like we're gonna go dip this yo Shouts out to all of the realism painters out there, like, and realism tattoo artists, like, y'all killed it. I 
I didn't mean to give Mona Lisa edges, but she's got some. <laughs> I'm gonna add a smidge of black in here to give us a dark brown, kind of reddish dark brown for the back shadowy areas of hair. But I still want it to have these punches of red in it. The black's just gonna really darken things up, make it a shadowy abyss. And this is the hard part because I don't wanna, I still have to like work on her chin and stuff. <laughs> We're gonna get this together, all right? We're gonna get this together, but gotta start from somewhere. That's why I feel like, like I said, I'm just going in. Up here it's dark so we're just gonna add where like I think I kind of think her veil is on the back of her head it's kind of dark so Tried to, I tried. This background, Lord. This background is just something else. I'm gonna clean this brush off because I'm gonna need it for details on her dress. All right, so this is taking way longer than I initially anticipated. So I think it'll probably be best to wrap up the background for the night and then finish up Lisa tomorrow and then we'll have a finished product. This is where we're at for now. Here's a close-up of her and until tomorrow, peace positive people.